About one in four young people in the U.S. have foreign-born parents, which means that at some point about a quarter of us are probably going to leave the country to visit family abroad. But even if you're only crossing state lines, visiting family in another place can range from feeling heartwarming to feeling like torture. So let's take a trip to Guantanamo and visit my tia! Here are five truths about visiting family abroad. Meeting people you never knew you were related to. Oh my god, hi! Yes, I totally remember you from Gloria's wedding in 1999 when I was nine years old. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Tu sabes, haciendo lo mismo. <laughs> pues... Oh my god, we're both still standing here! See how painful that felt? Now imagine reliving that every night with a new confused teenager or senile old person. Do you remember that really shitty movie with Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler where she keeps dating him because she can't remember what happened the night before? It's like that, but with a baptized newborn in my lap and flan in my mouth the whole time. Having to do something every night. It's no coincidence movies come out holiday weekends. Even though you're technically traveling to see family, you'd still rather sit in the dark and watch aliens have sex in 3D than actually talk to each other. Which is why people will suggest doing things they'd never otherwise do, like paying $14 for a movie, walking around a botanical garden, or going to an Outback Steakhouse, where because my uncle will be covering dinner, I will order five bloomin' onions for myself. If you're visiting family for longer than four days, you'll probably run out of things to do. At which point, expect to end up wandering aimlessly around a mall for several hours or sitting at a Starbucks on your phones until it's time for the next meal. Catching up your relatives on the last decade. Everyone's got that random relative they haven't seen in like over a decade, so once you do come visit, she's bound to grab your cheeks, pour you un cafecito, and interrogate you on everything you've ever done since she last saw you. She will not stop until she's satisfied or her novela comes on. Oye Gabi, y esa muchachita que era tu novia, ¿qué pasó con ella? Oh wow, sorry, I'm a uh, I'm gay now. <laughs> tu estás bien flaco, tu mamá te cocina. Nope, she's been starving me for the last 10 years. Oye, ¿cómo está fulano? Tú sabes fulanito ese que jugaba béisbol contigo, ustedes ya no hablan. That kid I was friends with in second grade with the rat tail is no longer in my circle of friends because of the rat tail. It's tough. Sometimes traumatic prepubescent events you thought you'd block from your memory get dredged up on these lovely family holidays. But your mom's best friend you all still call Titi for some reason is always there to remind you. Everything smells weird. It's not just the potpourri or the scented candles or the fact that the stove is on 24-7 cooking meals for other people. Something just smells off. And sometimes it's really hard to go to bed when your pillow smells like actual laundry detergent instead of whatever I have growing in mine after five months of not washing it. Should really get to that. Even just crossing state lines in the US, the taste of tap water or personal politics can differ drastically. Now, imagine being in a separate country where everything from bathroom air fresheners to the smell of your own cousin sweating on the front porch can make you feel like an exchange student on a bad acid trip. Take me back to New York. I miss the smell of rat piss and cigarettes. Having to stuff shit into your luggage. It's the day before family vacation is over! You've successfully packed all of your clothes, all the booze you purchased, and maybe a few gifts you got your friends. You sat on your suitcase for an hour until it finally closed. You cried when it did. Then, and only then, will one of your relatives enter the room with a human-sized tray of food covered in tin foil. Where are you supposed to put it? It doesn't fit in your bag! You can't check tamales! Oh, she wants me to hold them in my lap? Oh yeah, cute. I'd love to balance a hot tray of tamales for four hours on a flight back to Miami that leaks every time we face turbulence, only to realize after landing that they're too soggy and cold to take home, so we end up throwing them out. Do you know how many pants I've lost placating my relatives? There are tons of reasons visiting family you haven't seen in a while can be weird, like having nowhere to jerk off or needing to pretend you still go to church. If I missed any of them, let me know in the comments below. And I'm sorry, family. I love you.